What's up, that engine guy here. Today, I am actually working on my personal 402 cubic inch LS engine. And I'm at the point now to where I need to install the oil pump on my engine. And I wanted to show you the easiest, most reliable way that I have found to correctly shim these oil pumps. All you need is the pump itself, two, two thou or two and a half thou feeler gauges, and then the little torque socket to take this cover off. So. I'm gonna get the pump mounted on the uh, oil pump drive and then I'll show you how to do this. It's super easy. I'm just gonna run these bolts down just until they touch the pump finger tight. and we still wanna be able to wiggle the pump a little bit underneath the bolts. All right, next, take off this front cover. Okay, so the purpose of shimming these pumps is this outer gear needs to be perfectly centered in this aluminum housing. If not, oil won't be able to com correctly lubricate the gear and the housing all the way around, and the housing and the gear can wear against each other and cause a premature failure. So, other methods tell you to use like three or four feeler gauges and you start sticking them in, sticking them in the gear all the way around. What I have found easier is to take two feeler gauges. Let me move you a little bit closer, one sec. And instead what I do is I take two gauges and I'll slide one of them this way into the pump like that. Press it all the way in directly on the bottom of the gear. And then I'll take my second gauge and just slide it into the top of the pump and press it into the gear, just like that. And theoretically what we just did, because these feeler gauges are long enough, they somewhat wrap around the gear, perfectly centering it in the pump housing. And it's totally, there's almost no play now. And now if I take another feeler gauge, you'll find that you can easily move it on the other sides of the gear where you don't have a feeler gauge because the edges of these two little strips of metal are basically centering the gear perfectly. So with that where it is, let me just tweak this bottom one just a little bit if I can. I'm gonna pull it right there. Next, I'll come back and torque the bolts down to 18 pounds, lock the housing in, then we can pop out our feeler gauges and it's now perfectly centered. Now that that's done, we can just grab our little feelers, pull them out of the gear and housing combo, like so. And if you've done it correctly, your gear should be absolutely, totally free from the housing all the way around. Then what I'll do is I'll just squirt a little bit of oil in between the rotors and the housing and just all up in there. Turn the crank over by hand and find the counterweight. Add just a little bit more in some places. Can never have too much lube. Then we can take our front cover and I just use a dash of Loctite on the bolts and we'll draw it up and then torque it down to 108 inch pounds. Not foot pounds, please God. Because I know someone out there is gonna try it.
Okay, that's pretty much it. This is by far the easiest way, in my opinion, to correctly shim the oil pump gears to the housing on an LS engine. Um, if you do that way and follow those steps, the gears should never fail. This is a Melling 10295 pump, which is a standard volume, but it comes with the Copo spring and the blue spring. For my naturally aspirated guys, I usually run the blue spring. For my power router people, I run the Copo <clears throat> as I throw it on the ground. This is gonna be a about 1200, 1400 horsepower twin turbo motor for my vet, which I'm going to the Texas mile in. So I'm gonna use the Copo spring and freaking send it. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope that video was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any other tips or tricks you guys wanna see or any how-tos. See you later.